Hi everyone, my name is Patricia Bradby and I'm on the product solutions team here at Boomi. Today I'd like to show you a process here in the Boomi platform that is connected to DocuSign. And this is just a simple way for customers to sign PDF documents um, using an integration with Boomi and DocuSign as well as Salesforce. We've hooked this up to our Salesforce instance so that we can look up our customers. So once you go to this screen, which is only accessible by our Boomi employees, if we wanted to look up, let's say this life is good account, we would take this 18 digit ID here and put it into this Salesforce ID lookup and it will scan Salesforce for that exact account. I'd also like to show you if you don't have that Salesforce ID, you can also type in any part of the name of that company and it's going to scan Salesforce for any account that includes that word. So if we want to scroll down and look for life is good, we can select that. And then we would type in the company representative name. So let's say that is happy customer. And we would put in the email address where we would like the document to be sent. So we'll start the signature process. And that will fire off an email that will include a special code that then that person will have to put in so that they can access the document to sign. So if I pull up my Slack, you can also see we've wired this up to Slack so that in the legal form notifications channel, it will tell me when a new legal form has been submitted and for what company. Also, we've built this dashboard. So at the top here, you can see that we've started Life is good as a company in process. This is their Salesforce ID. This is the special code that their staff member will need to put in in order to access the document. This is what we call stage one sent to representative. We've also built in a last updated column so that you can see how long ago this company has been active in the process. And also from Salesforce, you can see the account owner, the regional sales director, and the customer success manager. Since this is hidden behind Okta authentication. We've also pulled from there who submitted this form so that we can know who put that company into process. So if I go into my email account, we will see that I've received an email to sign. So if I take that special code and click this URL, I'll be able to put in that special code and it will bring me to this page which says who I'm signing on behalf of and it asks, am I the correct person that is authorized to sign this legal document? So if I click yes, it's going to pull the document from DocuSign. And so I can simply put in my name and my email address here and begin signing. And DocuSign is going to preload information that is pulled from Salesforce. Um, so as you can see, it's already got the company name in here. And if we wanted to, um, this person could actually forward this on to, let's say, Susie Q, and Susie Q can enter in her own signature here. Um, and so all that Susie Q would need is the email that was originally sent to Happy Customer. So if they forwarded that on, she would have the code that would let her in here to sign. So if we go back to our dashboard and hit refresh, you will see we're now in stage three document opened and I'm going to pull up Slack so you can see we also have a notification that the legal form for life is good has been opened. It has been seen by someone. But as you'll notice, we did skip step two. Um, so I can go back and show you what that is. So if let's say happy customer was not the right person to sign. When they get to this page, they would say, no, I am not the person that is authorized to sign. In fact, my great boss is that person. They are the owner of the company. And this is the email that they need to receive this document at. So we'll hit send. And now that same code will be sent to great boss at their email account so that they can sign this document. So if we go back to the dashboard and refresh, you will see we're now at step two, set to signer. Um, let's see here. So, got my emails mixed up. 
back to grade boss. Put in the special code. And then same process here. It's going to preload the document with their information. So all they have to do is sign. Sign, sign. Let's go back and just check to see if this is updated. It should be giving us a document open. Sometimes this process takes a minute to kick in. There we go, document opened. We'll go back here, legal form signature opened. As you'll see, it also triggered this notification for when a new signer was added. So once they have put in all their signatures at the top, there will be a place for them to finish. And once the document is signed, they will be prompted to either download or print this document here. In case they do not do that, we have also set up a trigger for an email straight to their account. So as you can see, they have received this email which has the signed document attached in case they need it. If we go into Slack, let's see. I think maybe the process is taking a few minutes to load. We're now getting a notification that signature is complete. And if we go here into our dashboard, signature is complete. So that is the process that we have set up for Boomi and DocuSign and Salesforce.